New tonight, the New Friendship Baptist Church in Pollock is celebrating a new church building. This comes after the church burned to the ground in February of 2023. I spent the afternoon with the congregation at today's dedication ceremony for the new building. Here's how the community is rising from the ashes. To see us come together as a church, because the building's a building, but the church is a church. And so to come together for that, it brings joy to my heart. It was a joyous occasion for those celebrating the rise of a new church building. However, churchgoers still remember the day. It was February 16, 2023, when the new Friendship Baptist Church burned to the ground. There was a lot of tears shed over here that day. Uh, several, uh, several of the church members were here, and a lot of people in the community came by and stood on the road and watched it burn. And no, there, was no, there wasn't anybody that was... That wasn't sad. You know, everybody was upset. This, ch this church was a landmark. But there was people from all... Pastor Lloyd Whitman says he was preaching at a funeral in Alexandria when he got the news that his church was on fire. He says once things wrapped up there, he rushed over to find all that was left of his church was rubble and ash. Pastor Whitman says the fire was caused by an electrical issue and that the church crumbled in less than 45 minutes. I was devastated by what had happened, but I knew that if my people came together, they were going to build the building back. And built they did. The new church cost $1,300,000, and insurance paid $1 of that cost. The rest was covered by churches and individuals, according to church officials. Pastor Whitman says during the rebuilding process, he was tested, but his faith persisted. Well, in, every, in everything you do for God, the devil attacks us. And so he attacked us, uh, and, and the work was slow sometimes, slower than we wanted it. Uh, we, we didn't know if we was going to get the money, but money came in to, to build a building. Our people were together, though. Staying together was important for the congregation after the tragedy. In addition to having service at a neighboring church, members also worshipped outside under a tent, facing all kinds of weather. Cindy Tarpley wed her husband in the old church. Tarpley says the congregation's desire to weather through the rough patch was unbreakable. It was gotten a little cool at times. But we still, we had the heaters inside. Everybody's wearing coats, had blankets and all. But we did what we had to do to continue worshiping. With the new church now standing in the footsteps of the old one, Tarpley hopes that this will bring new life into the church. And hopefully we'll soon we'll get some younger people in. And, and because those of us that are getting older, uh, we'd like to be able to turn it over, you know, someday to, to them where they can continue what we've started here. For News Channel 5, I'm Jay McCulley.